What do you guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at how to create your own PDF files uh, online for free. Now this uh, was recommended by uh, a YouTube member of mine and uh, he actually said could you make a video on free uh, PDF editing uh, software. So this is not really software, it's online but it's a really good way of creating your own PDF files. And I'm going to be making my own PC repair request form online for free and I'll show you how it's done. So this will look pretty awesome when it's finished hopefully. Let's get started. Now I'm going to be using cut and paste here to actually paste the text in here because it's a lot quicker than typing it all out. I've only got a limited amount of time and as you can see this is the website here it's called pdfescape.com I'm going to click on edit your PDF now. Here you've got the option to upload a PDF file to edit it or get one from a URL from the internet uh, there is some uh, limitations, obviously 10 megabytes in size, now obviously that's a pretty hefty uh, PDF file and also less than 100 pages. Okay, so you can also upgrade to the premium version for uh, $10 per year, which is nothing if you create big files. So I'm going to create a new document here. The amount of pages that you want to create, I'm only going to create one and also we have page size either letter or A4, I'm going to have A4, A4, click on create and it will give us our blank document. Now from here we can then start putting our content in. So let's get started, so I'm going to first off start off with a logo here, so let's uh, chuck a logo in there, so I'm going to click on uh, image, browse the logo that I have on my desktop here and then we're going to upload that. Now we need to do now is click on the actual document and it will import that. So there we have our logo. Let's put in an address underneath that. So we need to go to text. I'm going to create a little box underneath there for the uh, address. So what I need to do here is do control V and this will paste it in there for me. Okay. Now I'm just going to make this bold and uh, we're going to just resize this to suit. Now you can take more time on yours but I'm just in a bit of a rush here. But there we have our uh, image and also our address. Okay. So let's uh, now put in a title here. So what we need to do is put in a title of our document, what it's going to be of. So I'm going to do control V and then make this a bit bigger here maybe something like 25 or something like that that'll be about right I think okay so we need another text box now and uh, I'm gonna just create another text box we can always resize these and I'm just gonna copy this amount of text here now obviously you can type in what you like. You can't right click and paste here, it has to be control V, which is not a problem. So once we've got that in, I'm going to just pull that up like so. And we need another text box here now. And I'm just going to whack that in down below there. Paste that in there, I'm going to control V. Just going to give you the idea and get some sort of feel for it. So there we've got our information that we require. Now we need to put in some other information. So let's put in another text box here, some contact information. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, maybe around about 16 or something, like so. And we can also put a colon after that or something that looks a little bit better. Now once we've got this done we want to put in some text boxes and we can do that with this program for free, well it's website for free I should say. Uh, we're going to put text here and select and what we need to do here is select some boxes. Now, I'm just going to do some boxes here like so. Now again you can take your time here so now we've got say three boxes there let's just do one more I'm 
can mess around with this all day couldn't you so um, now we've got our boxes all correct and then basically you put your date in what you want date and then you put that there and then you put another text box in we can call this address now you can shuffle this around to your arts content maybe pull this one down to there and uh, we'll do one more here and call this name something like that and there we go so we're just going to straighten that up a bit okay so that'll do for now so as you can see we're starting to get there we're getting some sort of shape to it we can straighten all these up and then we need to add in some radio buttons now you can do that as well radio buttons uh, are pretty cool uh, you can do that all in here as well now I'm not going to spend too much time I'll show you the end result in a second but radio buttons are just like this you just create radio buttons and position those and then you can actually right click object properties and create a name for these so they're just into one little section and then create another load okay now you can also create check boxes crosses diamonds squares whatever you like um, and that will be that and you've also got like uh, other stuff here uh, check boxes uh, drop down and list box as well a uh, text box will also be something you can add in and then there's other stuff for those let me just show you the properties for the text boxes you can align them left or right uh, combine field maximum length of uh, text that you can put in multi line which will allow you to put multi lines of text um, and so on and so on okay now once you've done all this you start adding all this stuff in um, images and links and stuff you can add it all in and I'll show you what the end result looks like I've done one a little bit earlier on so basically this is the one I created earlier on and you can see here now we've got a full-blown um, document which we can add in so we've got our date name address telephone mobile email of the customer okay and then we've got also PC uh, laptop information uh, and you can put make model serial number login and operating system and also whether they're going to supply the adapter oh, let's delete that uh, supply uh, the power adapter desktop uh, whether it's a desktop or laptop whether it's where they found you on Google referral or an advert and how to contact them by phone email or mobile these will obviously put the dots in and then they can print it out also you've got a little box down the bottom here that I created to help them tell you what's wrong with their PC and it will give you some information here to give them a little bit of a heads up of what to type so it gives you an, uh, an idea of what's going on with a PC when you get it in now even if the customer doesn't fill this in as a technician you could fill this in while you're there uh, and uh, get them to sign it you can also put a signature at the bottom to get them to sign here to agree to it all so uh, at the bottom here you'll see some small um, terms conditions that you might want to put in here we don't what you accept and what you don't accept and uh, the sort of rule of thumb really of uh, the way you uh, work so once that's all done it's a uh, just have a look at the finished product when it's opened up so I've got one here that's actually been created already and I'm going to open that up for you and as you can see this is what it looks like in Foxit Reader uh, it will look the same in Adobe as well pretty much and all you need to do here is put your details in what you want and you would just basically uh, put in what you want there like so and uh, like so and your address and telephone number um, whatever you wanted to put in there and so on and uh, once you get down to there you've got your contact how you want to contact you so this will be for the customer they can say you can contact me by phone email or mobile and they could just select what one they want contact me by my mobile you would have their mobile number details here so that's all the information you would need there and also you would have how did they find you this is good for um, 
building up your business so you could say they found you on the internet or they found you as a referral someone told them about you or an advert and then so on a little bit of feedback for you uh, whether it was a desktop or laptop that they're giving you and then obviously you'd have power adapter whether they supplied you a power adapter with that if it was and then the make a model so the make would be say for instance Dell and then you would have the model which they could put in there 5006A and then the serial number which will be a serial number on the back of the machine password which will be the password to log on and the operating system so all this information is vital when you're fixing PCs uh, and also there's some information down the bottom here which is something you may want to do as well which is basically typing what was wrong so PC keeps crashing getting blue screen or death or black screen or maybe it's malware related keep getting pop-ups redirected and you could put all this information in here and there's some little ideas here for the customer to help them or it may be a case that you're filling it out and uh, so you've got it back so when you've got it back you print it out and you keep that with the, the laptop or the desktop so you don't get confused and you remember where the customer was and where they live because you are going to get the same uh, models in now and again and it just stops you from making mistakes you can chop and change a bit of this information down the bottom here this is just a bit of an idea really but as you can see all in all not bad for a free bit of a kit there on the internet and uh, you don't need some fancy uh, expensive um, PDF editors to do a good job of a document and I think you agree that looks pretty awesome um, for a free uh, bit of kit there okay now if you've got video requests just like my uh, YouTube member did then I will do my best to make those videos for you um, but things like this if you need more stuff like this then just let me know and I'll be making more videos like this if you want more viruses just give me an idea of what you're after and I'll be making those types of videos for you okay because it's for you that I'll be making videos for anyway so that's me ranting now I'm starting to waffle on I'm going to be out of here so thanks again guys and thanks for your support bye for now